Good morning, everybody. We're about to film a very interesting special video, but surely I told you to go into the car before I do a small introduction because I want to keep a little bit secret uh, where we're going and where we're going to eat. The place we're going to go to, like you can see in the title. <laughs> it's here in Iceland. Before we go to that museum, I want to eat before we go to the museum. Maybe we'll lose our appetite, so we'll, we'll go eat. Then I asked Sherlyn before she went into the car that, okay, uh, let's get some new food. Do you want to try some really Icelandic? And I'm going to surprise her with the, the traditional Icelandic lamp head. So she's going to get a lamp head, like a full head with eyes, the tongue and the teeth and everything. And I'm, I'm going to try to get her reaction of getting that lunch before we go to the museum. So uh, let's go to the car, say hi to Sherlyn. Good morning, everyone. Why are you laughing? Uh, this day is going to be interesting. Wait. We're going to the museum. Is it the one that... Yes, I don't know if we can actually say the word. The YouTube, you know, is uh, uh, very strict on saying specific words. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try to keep that at minimum and I won't be surprised if this video is gonna get demonetized but we, we've got a lot of requests to film it. So, so, so <laughs> we're going to the Beep Museum. Yep, oh. I am super excited. I've been there absolutely so many zero times. What, you never been there? No. Why would I want to go there? <laughs> It's a unique one, the unique museum in Just the whole world. It, there's a reason why it's unique. Like, why would why would anyone do that? That's just flat. The cold is really the best. When are the when are the chess players? Did you have a hard time understanding that? I don't understand at all, <laughs> actually. Uh, talking to one of my best friends. Anyways, um. I was gonna buy the thing for Shirley here, but it's not available. They closed the shop. What was that? Ah, I was gonna give you something special. Um, the sheep hat. The sheep hat? Yeah. That would be cute. <laughs> cute? You wanna eat a sheep hat? A sheep hat? The head. The eyes, the tongue, the teeth and everything, and the cheeks. That's what we eat, the White Kings. They even sell it in a fast food here. They used to. No thanks. So it's like a, it's like a burger shop, but they sell sheep heads. So you get a sheep head out of it. But anyways, they're closed apparently. So uh, I'm saved. You're saved, you're lucky. All right, made it to downtown Reykjavik. And it's getting really cold and it's middle of August. And I keep saying that the summer here is really just one month in July, that's uh -huh. it. <laughs> We're in downtown. We're about to walk to the uh, infamous <laughs> museum. So we, <laughs> and we just ate as well, so uh, we won't lose our appetite, you know. Okay. And we're only doing this because it's highly requested. <laughs> they got so many comments on Instagram, YouTube. Guys, please go to the P museum. <laughs> Why YouTube? Why are you forced us to do this? <laughs> Hear the sound? Where's that? So if you're blind here in Iceland, you will still hear the uh, traffic light. Oh. Yes. Go, go, go. Chill in. This is it. <laughs> oh my god, no, no. The Icelandic Phallogical Museum. Phallogical, I guess that's one word for it. Phallogical. 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 This is it. Let's go inside. Yeah. Okay. 
because there's like a penis candle in there. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check this out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Really? Really warm. It's a chicken. And a snake. 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 And <laughs> oh my god, everything is pee here. Everything. Even the dog food. Oh my god, look at this art. Look at this art, Shalom. Hmm. Oh, even there. Oh my god. Okay, so we have a two headset. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to listen to? <laughs> like, what are they going to be talking about? <laughs> Viagra! Oh my god, Charlotte, look, it says Viagra. Don't touch anything here, okay? Don't touch it. No, no, don't. <laughs> That's a great gift. Okay, put in yours. I don't know if I want to listen to it. Are you sure you want to listen to it? Yeah. So he's the founder. He is the founder. We're actually uh, listening to it right now, but he's still the guy. And uh, he, he started collecting penises from animals around Iceland. And his wife got so fed up with it, he, she didn't allow him to collect any more penises in his house. So that's why he <laughs> made a museum. <laughs> Instead. <laughs> and after he collected uh, every single penis from every animal in the country. He moved it into a place in the north and then came back here to modernize it for now a uh, tourist attraction. <laughs> His wife must be <laughs> poor wife, all these penises in this house. Oh my god, look at it. What is this sperm whale? Sperm whale. It's a bottomless whale. <laughs> wow. Cholet, look at the size. He's bigger than you. <laughs> I can't take anything serious here. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god, this was a bad decision. Why did we come here? It was fun. Learn something about them. Because this is the starting of revolution. <laughs> I'm getting scared. <laughs> this is like a nightmare. <laughs> this is like, where are we now? <laughs> We're surrounded by some creepy scientist. You know, collecting penises of all, all the animals. <laughs> this is this is scary. It's okay. Largest penis ever recorded. He says he's gonna be glad that he, after his death, he's gonna donate his penis to this museum. Watch your head. This guy, the owner of the museum, he did an April Fool's joke where he's teaching in high school. He made a giant snow penis on April 1st. I'm not sure how that will go in America, but. He did it here in Iceland. It says, April Fools, I raised this sculpture for my students on April 1st, 2009. Erected by his pupillis on April. Jeez. Wanna get some pasta lebonks? It's a nice t-shirt. 
All right, we just wrapped up the penis museum and uh, there's a saying that God gave us penis and a brain, but not enough blood to supply and run them both at the same time. Jokes aside, of course, this is amazing life's work by a uh, Icelander. I don't know if he's a philological, philologist Philological. or biologist, but this is his life's work and I'm sure his uh, parents are proud of him for collecting penises all his life because uh, not funny, it's, it's true, he collected and uh, he has a successful business now, you know, There's so many tourists that came here and he is making tons of money off all these penises. All right, let's get out of here. It's a little bit loud noise. It's a part of evolution, that's why. <laughs> and in the next one, we're going to the Blue Lagoon. Peace out.